Do you feel, do you still feel green? Yes. Okay, Nadi, do you know there is a whole uh, translation of uh, what each color represents? And I'm giving you all an assignment that during the workshop in a day or two, try to find out what each color represents. Uh, there's a whole definition and then you can come and share it with the audience and that would be a learning opportunity. I know the color orange represents energy because it's, you know, the rising of the sun. And it really is. And when you know the meaning of the color, we can make a lucky guess what green could be representing. All lush green, life, because thinking about the plant kingdom, you can see the entire hall reflecting green. And as we say, think about this saying that is, Hari Hari Suchi. What does that mean? You know, it's something positive. You know, we have done that. Hari Hari So, we definitely, the language team, they have done that. Yesterday was a great start. And I mean that. Because we have been seeing the workshop. And, uh, and you did say, they did, was that they were playing the music, rhymes and poems in the environment before the starting of the program, during the tea break. And that had everybody, you know, humming and having a relaxed environment. Even the tea you were having, you were sitting down and enjoying the rhymes and poems. We heard yesterday what the oral presentation is all about. <coughs> Ms. Amina gave a very detailed introductory lecture about language. That means the starting of language, the history of language, the beginning of language, how language developed because we were not, the child was not born with any language. That was one aspect of it and the other aspect of it is how is language presented in the Montessori school, the prepared environment. Keeping in mind the child's absorbent mind, keeping in mind the child's sensitive period, the child enters the Montessori school at around two and a half to three years. The directress, who is a trained person who knows the child, she knows exactly what kind of language to give the child, when to give it to him. So a lot of importance is given on this spoken aspect. We have rhymes, poems, stories, conversation, news period, what else? Uh, question game. And today you will see the very first of the oral <coughs> practical exercises presentation, uh, I Spy Game. Mama Mina will be giving you detail about all the different sections, but language will be divided into three aspects, the spoken part, the written part, and the reading part. So, and with um, Amina, yesterday we introduced the team, we have Miss Aswa Daoud and the coordinator, Miss Saima, and of course the volunteers are playing an amazing role, but remember volunteers, the eyes are watching you and you are on duty. And once you are on duty, you got to make sure that there is discipline, nothing is going wrong, and the others, you are expected to respect the volunteers. Because one day you may be one also. And even if you are not one, respect the volunteers because they are definitely uh, doing something out of sense of responsibility. Where is Amina and where is Aspa? Uh, these training programs, it goes in steps. Last year, Amina was on that side introducing the aims and ages. Mashallah, mashallah. LMI has given her. She is definitely blossoming and showing her abilities and her talent. And I am the language team leader, assisted by Ms. Aswa. And I hope, inshallah, inshallah, in maybe next year, he has become. She will have someone with her who will be assisting her and she will be doing the presentation and so the training continues. So a big, big warm welcome. I can't hear you loud. I think you all are sleepy. How are you? Fine. That's good. So we are going to begin our day today with the language exercises. And uh, for this, uh, we, as Ma'am Andrew has uh, just told you, that uh, this language has been divided into three parts. The oral part, the written part, and the reading part. So we did the exercises like conversation yesterday. 
and he did the stories and the poems yesterday and that belongs to the oral section now we are going to start with the practical exercises and the first exercises is the enrichment of vocabulary you remember yesterday i told you that when the child enters into the montessori environment he is around the age of 2 to 3 years and at home he has developed few words which is there in the home environment with the help of the family members living but when he enters into the montessori environment at that age he is like hungry for words and a directress with the help of different material enriches the child's vocabulary so the first presentation we are going to start that is the enrichment of vocabulary vocabulary basket you will going to hear the material that what we are going to have in that but uh, the material of the vocabulary basket is not fixed once the child learns the name of those objects you can change it and put new objects in the basket which you want the child to learn so in this way you can keep on changing the objects of vocabulary basket so that the child can increase his more words power right so over to you ma'am as well you just read and the exercise name is enrichment of vocabulary age enrichment of vocabulary orientation to the environment classification of the environment and preparation for reading helps him to classify his own impression age to and half years old words you are going to take the consent of the child and we take the consent to know the will the child will together go to take the material and then bring the material to the place of faiza you know today auntie have planned to show you a wonderful activity would you like to join auntie yes ma'am please come with me we need to work with vocabulary basket vocabulary basket yes now would you like to carry this basket for me Faiza, please bring this basket to the place of presentation. He's going to show you vocabulary basket. Faiza, I wonder if you can tell me what is this? Faiza, can you tell me what is this? Very good. Yes, this is airplane. Faiza, can you tell me what is this? Very nice. Yes, this is car. Faiza, now can you tell me what object is this? Okay. I say you can take a mic if you need to speak. Agar zarurat. Faiza, now tell me what is this? This is uh, Okay, I don't get this question. Faiza, now can you tell me what object is this? Flower. Flower. Very good. <laughs> Do you know what object is this? Very good. This is basket. Now, can you tell me what object is this? Very good. Faiza, cup. 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 Faiza, look. This is duckling. 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 Faisal, this is lid. 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 Duckling. Duckling. Lid. Cup. 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 Duckling. Lid. 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 Duckling. Duckling. 
half. Now, Faiza, can you put cup on top of the plate? Very good. Faiza, can you put lid on top of cup? Very nice. Faiza, can you please slide up cup? Very good. Now, can you give me duckling? You take lid. Put lid in between duckling and cup. Very good. Now, Faiza, tell me what is this? Lid. Very good. What is this? Cup. Very nice. What is this? Cup. Lovely. Faiza, would you like to do more with this? No? Then let's do the wind up because we never leave things like this at the place of presentation. So let's do the wind up. Enrichment of vocabulary, that is the vocabulary basket. But the, you can enrich the child's vocabulary with different material as well. Like pictures on the cards and you can make nomenclature cards uh, and you can give the language with the help of the nomenclature cards with the help of the three period lesson. Now this three period lesson means three stages in which we teach the child language. The first stage is called as the naming stage in which the child learns the name of the object. So the director's task over here is that you should give the name to the child in a clear voice with the correct pronunciation because the child is going to learn the exact name which you are going to teach him. So in the first stage you give the names. In the second stage you, that is called as the recognition stage in which the child recognizes the object with the help of the name. And the third stage is called as the confirmation stage and in which the child confirms you that whether he learns the name or not. For example, if the child is doing any mistake, so it is advised for you that at that time you are going to do the wind up. You are not going to pressurize the child to learn again and again the same name. Some other time when the child is in the mood of working, you take the child, you take the material and repeat the same thing, the same name so that at that time he can learn. So this, uh, uh, you can introduce nomenclature cards, you can introduce different cards of home environment that is the classified cards. There is a difference between the classified cards and the nomenclature cards. In the classified cards, you show the classification of one particular thing. It can be any home environment, it can be any outdoor environment and over there you show one complete picture and the parts in the classified cards. Whereas in the nomenclature card, you take only complete pictures of anything, right? So you can introduce the vocabulary with the help of these cards as well. So let's do the uh, nomenclature cards presentation so you come to know how to come. What's your good name? Rusha, you know, today I have planned to show you an interesting activity. Yes. Would you like to join me? Please come with me. We are going to work with nomenclature cards. Alright. Would you like to carry this tray for auntie? Please. 
nomenclature facts. Alright? Usha, I wonder if you can tell me what is this? Very good. This is book. Usha, can you tell me what is this? Okay. Auntie will tell you what is this. Usha, can you tell me what is this? What is this? Very good. Vrsha, can you tell me what is this? Okay. Vrsha, computer. 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 Shop. This is hen. 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 Yes. Rasha, look. This is jug. 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 Yes. Computer. Computer. Hen. Hen. Jug. Jug. Jack, computer, hen, hen, computer, jack. Usha, can you please put hen here? Very good. Usha, can you put jack on top of computer? Very good. Usha, now can you point out where is hen? Yes, very nice. Now, can you give me computer? Very good. Usha, you take hen and give me jug. Would you like to do again? No. no. Then let's do the wind up. Please keep the box on the mat. Alphabet. Would you like to open the lid of this box for Auntie? Can you tell me? What 
Sit back. Now tell me this one. Oh, good. You know, there is something in my mind. Do you know what I have in my mind? No. You don't know? <coughs> no. Okay, then I will tell you what is in my mind. Mm. Matt. Mm. Matt. Mm. Matt. Shella, tell me what sound you hear first. When Auntie say the word, mm, Matt. Mm, Matt. Mm. Would you like to take out? Very good. Shella, what sound you hear after mm, when Auntie?